All right, fellas, let's have a little fun on this one. We're going to talk about the eight kind of cruiser riders you will meet on these highways in motorcycle clubs, but we're going to do something different here. I want you to let me know out of these eight, which one describes you and which one describes me. Hold no punches. Let's get into it. Number one, that's not so outlaw. You ever met a biker that looks like he's been in an outlaw motorcycle club for years? Never been in a club before. Look like he spits and pisses beer. He's so gangster, you never seen him with a bottle of water in his life. Even his wallet exudes outlaw. He has the metal chain connected to his Levi's. Woo! Shout out to my Cali bros when I'm out there. They don't even want me to come outside with New York jeans that are ripped up. You know how we wear them in New York. Let me know in the comments if you wear those kind or if you rock with the regular kind of Levi's straight kind of regular biker kind of pants. But in California, they don't play that. They want me out there with the Levi's. Number two, I ride a road glide and I put miles in. Ah, the road glide. How many miles did you put in, guy? The cruise control, cigarette lighter cup holder chips eric estrada dashboard guy the one that shows you features on his bike and when you look at it it looks like every other bike in the lot shout out to my road glide people i'm just cracking on y'all i know it's like the number one bike that bike sells more than any other harley davidson but let me tell you something that you might not like you are riding a fucking car when you ride a road glide that is a car on two wheels you have so many features on that thing. You don't even feel the wind. Yo, I roll with brothers and I'm riding with them. I'm feeling all the wind, taking all the rocks, everything that the road has to provide. And, and I see my brother with his feet up, cruise control, just doing 80, relax. Like that is a car, my friend. That thing looked like it got heat and AC. Every time your wife kicked you out the crib, you could fit your whole entire wardrobe in those saddlebags because when i go to the grocery store some you can see me with the handlebars and the bag sitting on the handlebar let me know in the comments if you've ever done that that's a real biker number three the harley davidson billboard guy you know this guy he's a harley davidson billboard he lives this harley life harley davidson jeans his shirt says harley davidson screaming eagles his hat he got the orange hat with the logo it gets hot he can't wait to take his shirt off because he has a harley davidson tramp stamp tattooed on his back you know the classic old lady bandana and she looks at you and says honey this is kind of gay and then you insist this is what all the biker chicks do look at this sturgis footage look at daytona look at myrtle beach all the girls got it come on babe you got this so she puts it on and since she's hot she pulls it off not really but she looks good so who cares you ever notice when she's not at a rally or not on the bike period, she never wears it? It's because she doesn't like it, bro. Just messing with you fellas and just messing with you ladies. We got to poke fun at the culture. Be dazzle on. Number four, the Harley Davidsons are not made in America guy. You met this guy before. The Harley Davidson is not made in America. So I got this bike instead. Not that my credit was shot. I got this bike instead because Harley Davidson is not made in America. The just underneath 600 credit score guy. And listen, we've all experienced this before. When I first got my bike, I got a Star Striker. I didn't sit there and talk about how crap Harley was because I had no ambition to actually run and get a Harley sooner or later. No, I built myself up and then I got myself a Harley. Not that it's an accomplishment or anything, but if you want something, you shouldn't make up an excuse just to minimize the company so you don't get it for lack of just having money just get your money up i remember when i got the victory i used to be with the club and it was separated some was like victory some was harley basically the same credit line story some of us credit was just a little lower than others so i remember the victory brothers used to be like yo souls they used to call me shyster so they'd be like yo shice 
right Vickies are better than Harleys and I used to be like no and they're like yo you ride a victory like how you not riding with us and I'm like listen bro just because I ride a hoopty I'm not gonna say it's better than the Benz you know what I mean like I was always like that let me know if you ever had those friendly competitions within your motorcycle club with the actual bikes that you ride but you know these types that are ride a Honda Shadow or any other type of cruiser that's not a Harley that's a cheaper bike that they can afford just say it you know what i mean like listen i got this one but i still i love harley davidson's because at the end of the day if you got a cruiser it's because you love harley davidson Mo nine times out of ten number five the long distance rider this guy might be the truest biker of them all let me know what you think he's the one that gets on his bike and he goes a lot of time he'll have his old lady they'll just jump on they'll pack some bags and they'll just find the destination they'll get lost either they go all the way across the country or even when they're local and they still have work and stuff that they have to do certain days they'll just disappear no destination and just ride around this is the true essence of being a biker let me know if you agree that the long distance rider is one of the truest of the essence of being a biker number six the custom builder the one that actually gets down and wrenches that bike. This guy knows how to weld. He knows how to do it all. A true master of the art of the motorcycle. They could be famous like an Indian Larry or Paul Senior. Outlaw like Tom Fugel that just happens to be great at working on bikes or just your regular everyday Harley Davidson loving or chopper loving or just your everyday guy that loves everything about the actual motorcycle itself these guys will not go to the dealer for anything oil change something goes wrong they will put a whole new engine in let me know if you're this guy these guys are anti-dealer they will not bring their bike to the dealer they feel that being a real biker is actually wrenching the bike yourself actually doing all the maintenance everything that has to do with the bike number seven the true outlaw someone that has experienced the motorcycle club culture for many years he has a seriousness that comes with him that only comes from experience years of being around motorcycle clubs outlaw motorcycle clubs the whole circuit the whole culture he has this knowledge and has been around and the most important thing about the true outlaw whether it's just him or he's with a hundred club brothers in his MC. He is the same person. He will show you the respect that he will no matter what the situation is. He could be in any local biker bar or event and you'll feel his presence. The outlaw is not trying to be anything but himself. And don't conflate this with being a tough guy. It's not about being a tough guy. It's just being a man that can stand on his own two feet. And there's many types from the introvert to the one that gets drunk and loud number eight the weekend warriors the weekend warrior the guy that people always got something bad to say about this is the bottom of the totem pole of mc culture more of a local rider he trails to events he trails everywhere he goes if he goes out of state he works all week he has his family he likes to do it for fun it's more of a hobby and i'm the type of person i don't look down on this type of person i never cared about the weekend warrior thing how many miles you got in all that stuff i've never been on that type of time whether i'm in a club or out the club i never been on that but the weekend warrior is the one that it's more of a hobby they don't take it as serious as a dedicated club member or somebody that's like a real you know i want to ride from new york to california type a lot of them are the type that go down on their bike more because they have limited riding skills because they don't ride as much if they tell you that that your weekend warrior you at the bottom of the total pole of respect when it comes to anything that has to do with motorcycles or motorcycle clubs so let me know in the comments which one you fall under and i want to see how many people in the comments actually say like i'm a weekend warrior i'm busy i got stuff going on in my life i'm just riding on the weekend or you just commute here and there to the gym like me or just running errands or whatever whatever it is that you may do or do you commute the work to the gym to the store everywhere you go let me know that in the comments and get your gosavelli motorcycle riding mask now they're on www.demonsroad.com i got another video linked above we ghosting baby